today we're going to talk about how to get out of a wrist release. Hey everybody, this is BK with Masada Tactical with another video. As I mentioned, we're going to talk about a skill that is significantly under trained yet very commonly happens. We're talking about somebody trying to grab your wrist and pull you away. There are three different evolutions to the skill, anything from a soft grab to somebody that's really actively trying to assault you, and we're going to show you the three different defenses to each one of those situations. Mike, stay back. Stay back. All right, so in this lower level of resistance, okay, what we're talking about is somebody grabbing your wrist, they're not really attacking you, they're not really assaulting you. You don't need to escalate the response option as high, right? You just want to make sure they let go. Okay, so in this event, when Mike grabs my wrist, I'm going to go for mechanically the weakest part of his grip. By the way, this is a skill we teach kids as well because it is that easy to execute. The weakest part of the grip would be where the thumbs would, would typically meet the rest of the fingers. As you can see, there's a gap there. To add to that, I'm also going to rotate my arm if I can, so the narrowest part of my form is what's actually going to be cutting through as I pull that arm out. I can add more of my body behind it if I need a little bit more force, but again, this is a low level of resistance where my opponent is not necessarily trying to attack me. Get off of me, stay down, stay down! All right, so in this higher resistance level, Mike is actually a little more aggressive, he's pulling me away, Maybe I want to deliver a message, or maybe I need to control it. This is something we'll teach also law enforcement, for example, but right? we're not to transition to a restraint and control hold. So in this case, I'm going to go for an armbar. There's different things I can do from this position. Armbar is just tends to be the easiest. I'm going to manipulate his arm to turn it over. As you can see, his elbow is extended at this point, and I'm going to create a focal point. I'm going to control his wrist, I'm going to take my own elbow over his tricep. I'm above his elbow, again, creating a focal point where I'm extending his elbow, and I can control my opponent. Get off of me, get off of me, get down! All right, so in this event, the attacker is a lot more aggressive. We're talking about a potential abduction situation, right, where the other person is not gonna let go, I can't just pull away, I may not even be able to do a joint manipulation. The nice thing about it, if you can call it that, is the fact that this arm is actually occupied holding my head, meaning he cannot defend himself which allows me to transition to my own combative strikes, kicks, whatever I need to do at this point to make sure he eventually lets go and I can disengage, either reassess, and either re-engage or break free. So in today's video, we covered three different defenses against somebody trying to grab your wrist. We started with a soft wrist release where I'm just trying to pull away, continue with a joint manipulation where I'm trying to subdue someone or control them, and then we finish with a combative if the attack is really aggressive and this is a situation where I need to fight my way out. It is up to you to determine which one is the most appropriate for your specific situation. Thank you for watching the video. We appreciate all the questions and comments being left. We'd like to address those in future videos. Keep uh, following our social media, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn. And as always, watch your six.